So we had um, a little snafu with our video from last week. It's on the Facebook page now and it is on the YouTube page so or the YouTube channel. Um, so there's no problem watching it, but for whatever reason, we lost it on Facebook with all the comments. Um, but if you missed last week, you could see it now both on Facebook and the YouTube channel. It has the winners of our Baja challenge in it, which was very exciting. And Janet um, showed more fitting techniques and she put out a newsletter um, today that showed a little bit more in detail, especially if you are a, like a visual learner, reading picture type of thing. Yeah, it clarifies it. When, I don't know why, but I, when I was on camera, I thought I would do it differently than I normally do, thinking it might be easier to understand, and quite the opposite was true, and then I made a math error. So I reverted to the way that I really do it, which is a lot easier, and so I decided to do a step-by-step -step, uh, picture uh tutorial of that same process in the newsletter so so that went out an hour or two ago couple of, yeah lunch um time. if you wanted to see that What else? So that's what we talked about last week, and it's out. And so one more day where well, you still have the day today to take care of that knit sale, take advantage. Okay, so neither Janet and I or I got good sleep last night. We might have. We should have probably started our vacation <laughs> one week s sooner. So things are either going to be really bad or like really slap happy or something. Here. I don't know, <laughs> but I didn't. I didn't even get a, a wink of sleep till after 4.30, and I had to get up at 6. Yeah. So. We've had, I it mean, was it was awful. for all, for different reasons. Both of us, different reasons. Oh, yeah, we're not, different we reasons. don't have any major catastrophes we're worried oh. about or anything. The there I already warned them about the storm. We, we have a storm starting here. If you're, if you're near us or in the Midwest, we've had storms rolling through here on and off for days now but they days. don't last long they no they last long enough to do some serious damage though to some people's houses oh. so hopefully none of you guys are affected and um, thoughts to those who are um, but there's been some serious flooding and then the sun comes out and it is hot <laughs> yeah until the next storm comes and of course <laughs> humid Humid. So, so we're got to pop up one now. Hopefully, it doesn't last longer, cause any problems for us here today. So I don't remember what I was talking about though. I started to say something and I messed up, and then I said we were tired. Brenda said she didn't get good sleep either. Maybe it's something in the air. Is it a full moon? I don't know. I do not know, but I don't want another night like that. Okay, so, um, well, as we told you, we're getting ready to go on kind of a hiatus. Uh, we'll be taking uh, personal vacations, all three of us during July, not all of them at the same time. Um, <clears throat> uh, we'll be shipping, we'll still be doing newsletters, but we will not be doing Tuesdays at 2 until August. So we'll come back the first Tuesday in August to um, just sort of get caught up. And then the second Tuesday. But what do we want them to do while we're gone? Well, we have July off. We told them to. So. So and post on our Facebook page. Oh, yep. Mm -hmm. um, and then when we come back in August, we'll do a drawing. That's for right. some giveaways. That's right. The first week of August, we'll do a drawing um, from those who have posted. So we want you to continue sewing, and we think, well, instead of watching us on Tuesdays at 2, you could at least get an hour's worth of sewing done on Tuesdays. But what we really would suggest is you get yourself ready for the second Tuesday in August, which is going to be our next sew-along. 
and we think it's going to be a very popular sew along just based on the interest in the pattern and the sales of the pattern and so our next sew along let's see if somebody can guess so what do you think would be our next sew along based on a pattern that we already have in our collection that we haven't done a sew along on yet and let's see who's the first one to guess it. All right, I'm going to let the guesses come in and answer a couple things. Brenda, for your post for July, it does not have to be our pattern. It does not have to be our fabric. Whatever you're working on, we want to see it. Um, I if it's not our pattern or our fabric, tell us how uh, you use yeah, our techniques. Yeah, your techniques. techniques. Um, I'm sorry, I forgot who said that last week. Patricia, maybe? <laughs> um, I wouldn't even You know, th when you're sewing, when you know the Islander method, whenever you're sewing, you're using something of ours. Oh, yeah. So, um, yeah, just tell us what your technique is. And then, uh, Connie, yes, there. you could see the newsletter on our Facebook page um, when Janet remembers to archive it. So it's far. It's not on the Facebook page. I mean, page. I'm sorry, it's our on website. The website. And I do, the only ones I don't archive are the ones that don't have any uh, any data. Right. So she hasn't archived the one she sent out today, but she will. Mm -hmm. And then it'll show up on the newsletter. You can always send us an email. I don't know if you've worked, if you've um, called us or wrote us before about the trouble that you're having. We've talked about this before. Go ahead and some, send it again. Some people have trouble with the newsletter, and we're happy to help you to look into it. But otherwise, you can see it on the website under newsletter. Um, or you can, if you don't see it, if Janet doesn't archive it, you can just shoot us an email, and we can put it on there or forward it to you. Yeah, the problem comes is when someone from your email address delete uh, asked me unsubscribe. Then because of the restrictions of the software we use is called constant contact they won't let us resubscribe you uh, that's to keep somebody who is unethical from just keep sending you things you don't want so they have good ethics there but it also gives us a hiccup and what we found a couple of times is that a husband and wife share the email and we don't know who unsubscribed, <laughs> but somebody did. That's, yeah, that's one <laughs> issue. We've come across some other things yeah, as sure, well. But, sure. um, yeah, if you haven't already, uh, give us a call or shoot us an email, and we'll see if we can help you with that. Otherwise, you could see it on um, the website hmm. under newsletters. Correct. All right, so there's lots of guesses. I will read them to you. Everybody's shirt, everybody's shirt. One of your shirts, thinking everybody's shirt. Everybody's shirt, everybody's shirt, everybody's shirt. And Jillian um, ending it with, I really hope it's the everybody's shirt. No kidding. <laughs> hey, you guys, that's great. It's the everybody's shirt. We're going to do a sew along starting the second week of August on the everybody's shirt. And to make it really easy for you, and you know we love to do that. Um, and here's the pattern cover. I don't know how am I doing, Jess. Decent. Okay. And it uh, comes all the way to 4X. There's two different, like this is the uh, plus size uh, pattern envelope, and then there's the uh, very small to extra large pattern envelope. So when you go to purchase a pattern make sure you choose the size that you need you can check the right in on the website click on the pattern and it'll allow you to pick up uh, pull up the back so that you can figure out just exactly what size you need if you're on the cusp um, and we've created two price range kits and e within each of those price range is two different size ranges so you'll need to choose your size if you're going to purchase a kit choose your size and your fabric so the first set of course is the Japanese lawns that we've been telling you about we're thrilled about they're every bit as luscious if not a little bit more than the ones we've been using for the Islander shirt which are the tropicals but these are um, what I think is a really nice range of more feminine and more blouse type fabrics in the lawn. So here's one 
Um, you have to tell me how I'm doing, Jess, because I... I mean, you could go a little bit further and cover my face up. Yeah, there you go. So how is that? But does it show good on the camera? It shows well. Okay. So it's showing well because Jessica is correcting my English, but God forbid I should correct her. Um, anyway. Okay, I just want to let you guys know that I put the kits in the um, comments to a link directly to our kits page. Yeah, when you click on fabric, it'll be one of the subcategories for kits, and all of our kits will be on that kits page. Kits has its own. Yeah, and this is one that's a real favorite. What are you laughing at now? <laughs> it's just like... Yeah. Kits has its <laughs> own tab. You can yes. go right to it yes. from there. We are tired. <laughs> okay, so this is a big favorite here. Um, it's luscious shades of blues and purples with the green greenery in the background. So it's a gorgeous uh, piece. And it comes in a second colorway in the pinks and reds. So pink, red, and yellows are in here with the greenery in the background. Now you notice each one of these bolts, there is not a tremendous amount of fabric on this bolt. And so it will, each one of these is gonna do maybe three kits, two to three kits. Maybe this one would do four because there's more on here. This is a beautiful watercolor uh, print. It's a little bit larger than the others, but it's that beautiful lawn. It's just lovely. So if you are more of a jewel tone and you like a little bit bigger print, that's more my thing. Two, this would be a really good one. Okay, this one is a little bit narrower than the rest, but this is a beautiful striped, like a shibori striped indigo. So this is very in right now. Yeah, this is just lovely. Really and Marion said that she just um, sewed with the Japanese fabric and it has the most amazing hand. And she too said it reminds her of Liberty of London. Yeah, it is. It's the same substrate as Liberty of London. Or now they just call themselves Liberty. And I remember I went someplace and I said, oh, is that Liberty of London? And they go, what are you talking about? And they just knew it as Liberty. But... I've been around long enough. I Maybe remember. they were just being stuck up. They might have been just being stuck up, but I don't think so. It was a very sweet lady. Um, it was just they never had heard um, that term because it's in their world it's always been called liberty. Now this, I think, is so charming. It is bugs and butterflies. I think we call this butterflies and friends. But it's a beautiful creamy uh, buttery color very pale cream color um, with all these lovely uh, butterflies just scattered across it so and Some there's dragonflies there's a definitely a grasshopper here he's adorable some Beetle. bees mm -hmm. and what are these guys stick bugs oh. I don't know what their technical term is yeah stick bugs stick bugs but anyway that's just lovely too so these all are in the lawn category so remember you choose the fabric and you choose the size what was the name of the first bolt the first bolt pretty you'll have to look it up i don't know right. before hold Pull on it up. i will look it up i have it right here uh the first mm, funny thing is i name them but I, there's hundreds of fabrics here yeah there's two pages and I'll put that in the comments too. That one <laughs> huh. it should be right there. Are there. you asking because you can't find it? <laughs> Go to the next page. It Maybe should have I been with the it. it should have been with the others. I wonder what happened. I wonder if it's in the kits. Mm. Bear with us here for one second. <laughs> uh, okay, so it is, this is it, right? Lawn Botanic, oh no. It's got a gray Gray, bag. lawn, gray, and multicolors. It's listed as in the kit. We'll have to look, and Janet's going to go talk to Brenda now about. Hey, Brenda. Why? One of the florals is not listed <laughs> it went the wrong way. There, she's over here. 
want this. <laughs> okay. We got a who's on first situation ah, happening yes. here. <laughs> We're running around in circles. This print right here is not on the website in yardage. It's in the kits, but okay. but um, somehow it's not in yardage. So if you could Did you show it already. Yes. Yes. Okay. So I put the link to all the fabrics if you want fabrics on their own. Um, yeah, a lot of people have already bought the pattern, but we do have the beautiful buttons as well. So if you've already bought the pattern and you're getting the fabric, consider the buttons right, and so the interfacing. Joanne has a question. Does the larger print suit this pattern? Wondered with the front darts. I purchased the pen and ink material to make this, but not sure it will like with the darts. Hard to buy material online. Yeah, it is hard to buy fabric online. I agree with you. But I think they will both work out just beautiful. You know, um, those darts are very insignificant. They're very, very narrow. They go down the front. Um, uh, so I don't think they're going to interrupt the print to any significant way. No. Okay, so before, um, speaking of that, before we go on to the other set of fabrics... For the people who aren't familiar, why don't you talk a little bit about the pattern okay. itself? All right. So the Everybody shirt was created um, in two lengths. So we have the your basic uh, shirt or blouse length, and then there's a tunic length. Now, the kits do not include yardage f enough to make a tunic. However, if someone is just dead set on making a tunic, just let us know to, that you want to purchase the additional amount of fabric in the same order in the comments tell us that that is for the view B we will add the yardage without cutting it so if you had to go from in the B is three and let's say it's three and a half and it was three for the A we would just add that extra half a yard charge you for it of course but it wouldn't be chopped off. It'd be all one piece. We're talking about the Everybody shirt, Deb. So the Everybody shirt has some nice styling. It does have those beautiful um, front darts. And it has, let's see, this is uh, the one that's on the cover. But let me pull this one over to the camera. We can get a little closer. Um, what we did is we combined two of the fabrics that we have. Um, for this one so we, we combined this with the stripe as well as the print which we think gave it a more upscale look it has a two-piece sleeve so the sleeve is seamed right down here and it goes right into this really dramatic uh, sleeve placket now in this case we used the salvage and got a little more interest but um, that you know if not, it would uh, you could use the stripe or the print, whichever. But uh, other than that, there's a little shaping in the back. The back um, comes in here like a demi princess seam in the back to give you some more shaping. And then in the front are those darts. Now, there are some people that will eliminate those darts in the front. If you and you might want to, and I'm going to talk about that before we finish today about using a muslin. You see, we use the stripe on the collar stand here as well. It's not as obvious there as it is other places like the cuff and the yoke, but it's there. So it's kind of fun to mix up some fabrics once in a while and do that. Um, so what we're going to recommend too, and this could be part of your July sewing, is to mock up a muslin of this shirt. The purple one behind me is the muslin we've been mocking up for Brenda. And <laughs> it is not the first generation because Brenda has some very different fitting issues when it comes to shoulders. And not only are her shoulders forward, but her arms are back. Uh, so it makes for a very unusual shape and one is longer than the other. And I mean longer, not slow and slope differently, but longer as well. So there's lots of adjustments we're making. And you'll see here with the muslins, I just want to point this out. With Brenda's here, we're sewing everything on the outside because this is a fitting muslin. So we have set, we have marked hers 
left side, right side. And this is the right side of the shirt and it's the right side of the pattern piece when she goes to make her pattern pieces from this. Because she is very asymmetrical in the shoulders, so it's going to make a huge difference keeping these two pieces separately. And we've had to, one of the other key issues when you're making your muslin is make sure that your dart is pointing directly at the apex. So the apex is your nipple. What we found with Brenda's is we had to move them over. They were too far apart. They may be too close together or too far apart for you as well. So all you have to do is just take that dart and simply move it. Mark your apex, come down about an inch, and that's where you want your dart to point to. And then you take your pattern piece and just move it so it's pointing at that spot and ends about an inch below the nipple three quarters at least and that's true with any dart okay you can see we put one sleeve in like we do with all of our muslins because we don't need two sleeves unless we have an issue an asymmetrical issue of some kind which i've never come across uh, once you get the shoulders correct and everything the armhole um, is uh is pretty much uh set so, um, but we did a lot of work here in the back on Brenda's to try. You'll see it's not going to hang right on the dress form because it hangs right on Brenda. <laughs> so, um, but that's what we did to get ready uh, to sew up one uh, for the sew along. So, good idea if you have your muslin already done, and I know some, or your sloper already done, then you'll be able to take your sloper and compare it to the everybody's. But if you don't have a sloper done, then cut out the basic pieces like we did here and then fit it on your body and make those corrections. Like a lot of times it's gonna be that shoulder slope uh, and that directions in this week's newsletter. So just the other thing that's so important to remember is that when you go to pin that shoulder side seam, whatever seam you're fitting, those fabrics don't necessarily front and back have to line up. They may be off by an inch. That's because you're adjusting it to your body, not adjusting your body to the pattern. So if those uh, raw edges don't line up when you go to do that shoulder, that's okay. That's what you want. And then you change your, se your uh, seam line and your cut line, and now that pattern fits you. Okay. Uh, Mary's asking, is it drafted for a B cup? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So you may want to do the full bust adjustment. And I think we have that in our Shirt Makers Express pattern, if you happen to have that. If you don't, you could Google full bust adjustments. Um, I think that Watson, Melissa Watson, has a very good one for Palmer don't Put. We do it? Did we do one? Yeah, we did one. Where is it? We did one too. It's at least on the Facebook page. Yeah, it's not going to be, I don't think, on the uh, uh, the YouTube. <clears throat> so I don't know exactly when we might have done it. But anyway, find it in ours. Find it someplace else. Um, it's a pretty simple adjustment if you need to make it. But I would do the muslin first. And see, because again, those uh, are insignificant darts. They're they're necessary for some people and not others. In other words, if you've become more barrel shaped as you got older, and your body doesn't necessarily go in a lot before it goes back out underneath the bust, you may want to eliminate those darts and just pretend like they're not there. So um, think about that. I mean, I did. I took them out. They just didn't, uh, they didn't, my body isn't shaped that way. So when I put the darts there, it doesn't look right. It's not a water. It's just, it has to, uh, you have to make that final adjustment uh, and that decision that, hey, my this body doesn't need that shape. It isn't shaped like that. I have that. We talked about the, thanks to Mary. Uh, the full bust adjustment on both in 2018, um, in May, in August. 
Okay. Two check there. May 30th and August 7th. There you go. Of 18. Okay. And Sean said she thinks Connie's pattern making book has the bust adjustment in it. Okay. I've never used it out of Connie's book, but I wouldn't be surprised. Her pattern making book? She, I mean, she said she thinks. I don't know. I don't think so. The only reason I don't think so is it's not a pattern adjustment. It's a pattern drafting. So you would draft it to be the right size. Don't look at me. I already did. I already <laughs> looked it up on the thing, and Mary did too. We, got, okay. we came in at the same time. All right. All well, right. in any way, you'll be able to find full bust adjustment. But like I said, make the muslin up first and um, see how it's going to hang on your body. If you've got an hourglass figure or you're really shapely or uh, younger than some of us, then, yeah, you're probably going to want it. But it just depends on your body type. Okay. And, you know, you want to check your sleeve length. Um, you know, you just want to make sure that this is going to fit and get a, a piece of muslin and do it before you cut into these beautiful fabrics. Now we have more fabrics to show you for the second category of the kit. And these are shirtings. So we have two Japanese ones here. Oh, this one's really low. Yeah, they're probably enough in this very pale, I think we called it pale apricot or something, um, for one kit. And then there's a second colorway in that same. And these are like fine little twigs. You kind of have to see this one. Like when you go on the website, be sure to click on the fabric so that on the second page, you'll be able to enlarge it to really see the fine, uh, simplistic, but just little pops of a different color every once in a while and then there was this is the stripe that coordinates with that bird print that we just showed you here in that so um, this would be a beautiful shirt all on its own and there's another colorway in these these are cocas very popular fabrics um, imported from Japan this one is so cool. Let me get it close. It's got a little, little thread there. Um, this, these triangles in here, these dots, <laughs> these dots here, and then the triangles over here are have a silver to it, a little bit of metallic. But as you can tell from far away, you don't really see that, but it's that cool uh, detail up close as well as the salvage having that bright chartreuse. Yeah. It's a chartreuse stripe along here. And that's something you could add in. Sometimes I'll use that as the top of a pocket. You could use it as your cuffs. Um, yeah, let me show you. Lots of different up options. Close on this one. We didn't use that, but they took just the silver part and uh, it's because it's silver yeah. yeah that was from the bird fabric from the bird fabric and just cut that and used it there and i'm not because of that part so silvery I'm not and then here's another colorway in the bird and it had this teal uh salvage so this is real pretty but there's probably only enough for one kit left in this one now we have some traditional shirtings so, um, just a really nice, basic, and this is navy, and it's an off-white, not a bright white. So it's got, um, not only are these stripes different widths, but they're slightly different in color. So again, a traditional print with just a little bit to make it special. Special. And this is a beautiful weave. This is what shirting should look like. You look up close, I don't know if you'll be able to see how fine the weave is in that wider stripe there. You see, the threads are so fine in shirting. If the company 
has a mind to, they can create very intricate striping, but you don't notice it from a distance. It's not until you're up close that you see the subtle details. So that's another one. These are 60 inch wide goods. This is, um, it's not a seersucker, but it, well, yeah, I think it is a seersucker. In between, this looks like seersucker. The white stripe definitely is crinkled like seersucker. And then there's a lavender, uh, and it's an intricate weed that looks like, almost like it's braided. It has a little bit of a, a it's a beautiful sheen, but not too. That last one, um, Mary, was black. Black hey, and Brian. white and a little bit of cream. Did we put that orange flower and that pen and ink in the shirt kits? Okay, because I didn't, I will show those too. Okay. That one was already in there. It was? We couldn't find it. Yeah. It's in the kit, but I didn't find it in the fabrics. It's like on the first page. <laughs> okay, here's a fun one. I like all the beautiful colors in here. And this is like indigo and, um, oh, it's a gray blue. There's a bright blue. And then there's these fine orange stripes that pop in there. So this is great. It will look wonderful with denim or any shade of blue uh, so that's a great one and then this one we called I think cornflower because I just it's the sweetest little almost like uh, an old-fashioned uh, flower sack but a little bit prettier of course but it's a very nice shirting it'll take a press really well these are hundred percent cotton so many times um, when you go to a fabric, especially the big fabric stores online, and you click on shirting, you'll get every fiber content known to man, and they'll call it shirting. But if it's got polyester in it, at least even a little bit, but particularly some of them will be almost all polyester, they don't take the press well, they don't take the needle well, things pucker, it's just not a good experience um, that you have when you use a really good quality 100% cotton shirting and you don't pay that much more. Even if you paid $3 a yard more, you're paying six to $9 more for a shirt that is five times superior to a polyester shirt. Um, so, and the other thing, there was something else I wanted to tell them about, oh, the lawn. The lawn is the thread. Can you give them the link to um, sewing? Is it sewingmachineparts.com? I think it's sewing machine parts. And they carry the dual duty fine. Oh, I found that last time. In about 20 colors. And any place else I looked, I could only find three or four. Well, it's okay if you need white. You could probably get it at Joann's because they do carry uh, sewing just a parts online. sewing parts online. online. And uh, but luckily, this company carries I don't know twenty or twenty four different colors of the fine. You want the fine thread when you're sewing on this lawn. Otherwise, the thread is so heavy that the fabric starts to pucker and it doesn't lay flat and look as pretty. So because this is such fine, strong threads in the lawn, and again, that was the first handful we showed you of fabrics, you want to have that finer thread so it um, lays well. I have a lawn shirt that I purchased many years ago, and it was not sewn with the fine thread, and I can see the difference. Uh, they pretty much maintain their tension pretty well, but still, uh, you know, if I was going to make it, I'd use the other thread. So, and then maybe a 10 needle will be a universal 10 will do you just fine. Um, Schmetz is my favorite brand. Oh, someone just asked about the needle right before you said that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, um, it's a 60 weight thread. Yep, universal needle. Um, can you hand me that black stripe? one again yep yeah. all right Mary we'll see if Janet 
disagrees with me, but yes, the white is a true white. It's not a cream. Correct. It is not. Here's a white. Here's white. This is a true white. Mm -hmm. This is an off white. It's not a cream, but it's an off white. Right. So side by side, you can see the slight difference. Of course, the color that's woven into it will make a difference in its uh, presentation as well. But it is definitely, with all those uh, black threads running back and forth, it reads as in slightly off-white, like eggshell. Like very slightly. Mm -hmm. Like when you go to the paint store and you have the two things and you don't notice until you put them next to each other. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So I would say it runs a pretty true white unless you know you hold it up to next to this that's something very white yes yeah um yeah okay so, so those, and then did you want to show these you said yes those are two more that will be in the kit so the pen and ink that someone just talked about getting and this is a nice uh pretty print real summery but it would take you right into fall now this is a true white. Yes. And we call that pen and ink because it's all that indigo ink color on white. There's no other color involved. And then this one's a real fun summer, but it'll take you right into fall as well because it's got orange and some brown and teal. Or I think you'd call that brown. Yeah, it's brownish. Yeah, like a tan. taupe. Yeah. Taupe, teal, and orange with an off-white. Yep. And those would both make lovely everybody's shirts. I'm so excited everybody guessed everybody's shirt. That's, like, cool. They have been asking for it for a little <laughs> Well, we So it might have been, like, wishful thinking. Like we we kind of were listening. Out there. We're kind of listening. But anyway, yeah, we'll do it as a sew along and then we will be posting it in uh, on the youtube channel under playlists so those that uh, want to go there to look at it will be able to follow yeah. it there as so well so we will start this the second week of august as we talked about so i believe that's august 10th um so we will have one show before um but as Janet mentioned, some of these fabrics are very low. So if you see something that you like, make sure to get it now. But know that you don't have to have, um, if you haven't done a sew along with us before, you don't have to have anything ready before we get started, um, except for your muslin, if you know that you yeah, might have get, some. Get yourself ready so that when you do start to watch a sew along, you can start cutting. And our first episode is always about cutting, interfacing, and marking. Yeah. And it's so sometimes it's actually better that you do wait yes. and see what tips Janet might yeah. give you that are outside um, the normal. Yeah, is. outside the guide. Um, but yeah, just have your muslin, especially if you know you have any body specific issues. But otherwise, you don't have to worry about having everything cut out and no, ready no. to go. We'll help you um, through that as well. Yeah, maybe have your fabrics chosen or your kit yeah. chosen. and Have your supplies, but you have to do it. Right. Do it. Now, remember, with the kit, you're going to get the buttons that you need as well as the interfacing you need. So the only thing you have to add is thread. And we never provide the thread for our numerous reasons, <laughs> but the big one is, is where the heck would we keep all that thread? Um, so, anyway... Um, I don't know where I was going. To bed, I think. I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm so tired today. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I wish I could blame last week's screw up on no Sometimes sleep. Sometimes you don't realize how tired you are until you try to give directions or speak, <laughs> and all of a sudden you're saying the wrong words. You're saying Facebook page instead of website. Yeah. And da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. So, um, as always, uh, you can email us islander sewing at comcast.net there will be one week um that we are not in the office so um but otherwise that's the fastest way to get a response from us uh if you have any questions either with orders or construction and otherwise we will be in the office we just won't be doing tuesdays at two 
That's right. We're working on some new patterns and uh, working on the sew along. Um, working on catching up on sleep, maybe. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we want to try to get some, we talked a little bit last week, we want to try to get some stuff ready for you guys um, moving on. Yes. Into the fall. Into the fall. Yes, we have some exciting things we want to do, but we can't tell you about them because we we don't like to spill the beans until we know we're... No, Janet dead. does. Janet does <laughs> like to spill the beans and then be like, yeah, we're not doing that. <laughs> Well, no, it just doesn't always... Uh, she doesn't like the second part. She just doesn't think the that part. The timing. The timing. You think you can get something done in six weeks, and it ends up taking 18. Pretty much like any home project. Mm. <laughs> so, yeah, we, we think we're going to do it. But because we run a home-based business, and we do uh, schedule and cater around our family and our children, and sometimes that really... Uh, it ha it takes makes things take a little bit longer. <laughs> what can I? A say? lot. Um. Yeah. So Sandra Sandra commented about the thread. Yes, there are other threads out there. Um. In that weight, we recommend the dual duty because that is what we have the dual duty fine because that is specifically what we've used and we know works. I'm sure that there are other products out there that work well. But we know specifically that that one works. The Guterman is an excellent thread, too. It's just, again, more difficult to find. So if you find the Guterman, um, by all means, that's every bit as good. So, um, you know, there's some basic brand names on the market. And they're all good threads. I've never had one fail. I don't buy the no-brand, inexpensive thread in the funny packages. I don't buy that. Um, it's just not worth, you know, saving a buck on thread and then having it break uh, all the time when you're trying to sew and possibly after the garment's constructed. It's cheaper thread for a reason. And it uses shorter staples. And shorter staples don't aren't as strong. And, uh, and that's why it's cheaper. It's just... That's just life, you know. When things are cheaper, there's a reason. So, and we don't want you to spend every dime you have. That's why we try to give, you know, different price ranges in these products. And remember, on all the shirtings, not the lawns, on all the shirtings, that's just regular basic construction thread. You do not need a special thread for the rest of the uh, fabrics. Only the lawns. Um, for these kits, we're using the Japanese lawns. For the Islander shirt, we use the tropical lawns. Same thing, finer thread. Okay. Amy, that is a very good question. Thank you for asking. Um, she's asking, do you have to sign up for the sew along? No, you do not have to sign up for the sew along. You obviously will need the pattern, um, but you don't have to purchase the fabric from us, although obviously we have some really great fabric for you. Um, we will do it um, on Tuesdays at 2, and then it will stay on our Facebook page, and we will also post it to the Islander uh, YouTube channel. So however you want to watch it that way, but you don't have to sign up. You just need the pattern. You can follow us along and just watch it. You can make one, and then two years from now, you want to make another one. Um, all of that is still going to be there for you. So... Whenever you want to use that pattern, you will always have us by your side and giving. And when we do these sew-alongs, some of the things we're able to impart, the little tips and tricks, we try to put as many as we can in the pattern, but you cannot put them all in there. You just can't, or the pattern, I mean, we already have sometimes 28-page booklets. You just don't want a 50-page booklet to make yeah. a shirt. It's or maybe sometimes you come along them after the fact, too. Like when you've been right. working on mm -hmm. Brenda's shirt. Um, yeah. You know, and then we can pass that along. And then you can just jot the notes into the margins of your pattern guide. And then you've got it in writing as well. But, um, yeah. Carissa, I linked... Um, I put a link in the comments to all the fabrics that we have, not just the ones that we showed. Um, 
all the shirtings, I should say. Um, but I don't believe we have any just solids. No, no. We don't tend to buy solid shirting other than white. We do have the white. I forgot to talk about that. We do have the beautiful premium white cotton shirting. And that is also part of the kit. Right, Brenda? Yes. Yes, it is. I'm right. I remember putting it in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm getting a little punchy. Oh, that's exciting. Mary is, if you weren't here last week, Mary... Um, the Baja Challenge, and she is using her winnings to get her shirt kit. Oh, what a great <laughs> idea, Mary. I'm so glad you're joining us for that. Oh, and for those of you um, uh, that participated in the challenge but did not win one of the top prizes, which was first, and then we had tied for second, everyone's getting a gift well we got so busy with orders that kind of slid uh only one gift got sent out the rest of them are being sent out this week so we didn't forget you well we did for a minute but we're back on it <laughs> so we'll get, we'll get it out right away all right well that is all that we have for day today we made it through the storm well it's still kind of stormy but we made it through the show without the storm interrupting. Yeah. Um, so we will be back August, the first Tuesday in August. You had The it second, I think. I only wrote down. Well, it's my brother's birthday. Oh, then we are, we're not going to be able to make it. <laughs> no, the first. The first. The okay. first. Well, okay. Then, okay. Then we can make we it. We can make it. Um, yeah. So August 1st. But. If nothing else, sew something in, all, in July and post it on our website. Oh, my gosh. I have to say this before we go. Um, Connie says, Brenda is like Alexa. You don't <laughs> you don't see her, but she hears you. The 3rd. August 3rd. She says it's August what? 3rd. It's a Tuesday. Oh, August 3rd. <laughs> I'm looking at. Some other month. Some other month. It's probably some other year, some other universe, some other dimension. August 3rd. So we still can make it. All right. And don't forget, if you haven't got your easy check tape measure, watch Jessica's great video uh, here on the Facebook page. It'll just be up a couple. It's not really or funny. Or down at a all. couple from here. Huh? It's not funny, though, but. Yeah, it's not funny. Just, like <laughs> laughing a lot today. Um, um, but it is such a great product. And you know, we've got people buying as many as five. Now, I'm sure they must be, you know, sharing I mean, them with friends. Uh, first of all, <laughs> gifts. Yeah. Gifts, like perfect. Or like, even, I know oh. we're a ways away, but if you're going to put in an order, stocking stuffers. Well, if you go gifts. to one of your guild meetings with yeah. a handful of those, they'll buy them from you before you can And also, sit like down. Uh, Marlene said, she had one and it broke. And she kept <laughs> kept well because a the hold tape of it was, because yeah. um, she couldn't find another one. So always have a backup. Well, we couldn't find them either, and we had to be the importer of them into the United States because nobody else is carrying them. So this is the place to get them. Spread the word. We uh, we have plenty, and my grandson just loves packaging them. Not really, <laughs> but he's doing it. Okay, August. Third, which is a Tuesday for Tuesdays at two. We will be back, but feel free to contact us through email, Islander Sewing at Comcast.net. In the meantime, and we look forward to seeing you in a month. And we're so excited. We've spent a lot of time teaching you some fitting that we think is monumentally important. But when we do the sew along, we're going to do what we do best, and that is construction. And we are going to show you some slick construction techniques, and you'll be more confident in the other projects going forward. So we will be happy to share Islander Sewing Systems. No pins, no basting, no kidding. No kidding. All right, enjoy your July. We can't wait to see what you're working on. See you in August, Tuesdays at 2 Eastern Time. Bye.